alternate picking or down picking? Which one should I focus on? Well, today you're gonna focus on both, integrating both picking styles in the same riff. I've actually got two exercises for you in this lesson here. Real quick though, the reason why I'm having you integrate both is because this is a practical application, right? This is a practical method of practicing because most metal music, they have alternate picking and downstrokes within the same song and sometimes within the same riff. So that's what we're gonna work on today. Now, real quick, for my Patreon supporters, you have the tabs for both lessons, both exercises, as well as the backing tracks. You've got the full mix, and you also have backing tracks with just the bass and drums. I know those are fun to practice too. If you'd like to support me on Patreon, I make it really simple with one easy tier level. So there's a link in the description of this video. Check that out if you'd like to be part of that. Again, we've got two exercises we're gonna go through today, and I'm gonna let Gunner kick off the first one here. Wait a minute. Hold on guys, hold on a second. Hey Gunner, Gunner dude. Yeah bro. We're supposed to be filming right now. Where are you at dude? Uh, I'm just working out. I thought you already worked out this morning. What are we doing two a days now? I'm not getting any younger. I gotta stay in shape bro. <sighs> yeah, yeah, okay, I get it dude, but can, can you please just come in for a second? Let's get this out there. I want our audience to learn these two really cool riffs. All right, all right, I'll be there in five. Jeez. All right, here's the first exercise, and then we'll break it down. So we're starting right out of the gate with the alternate picking, but actually we're not. And I'll talk more about this at the end of the video when it comes to riffs that have a lot of alternate picking, but we're actually starting with a down stroke there, playing that E power chord. We're starting out uh, on the A and the D strings there, frets seven and nine, playing that E power chord. We're gonna strike that one time, then we go into the alternate picking. Now, one thing I wanna point out real quick here is that I'm alternate picking just the one string, the one note there, that A string seventh fret. I'm not alternate picking the entire chord. Sounds a little muddy when you do that. Now, that doesn't mean it's wrong to do that if that's how the song is or if you're writing the song that way. There's no wrong or right here. I'm just sharing how I'm performing this specific exercise. So I'm just alternate picking the one string. Not both strings. Okay, sounds a little sloppy and a little muddy. Doesn't, again, doesn't mean it can't be done. I want to just reiterate that. There's no wrong or right way here. There's only the way that you want your song to sound like. Or if you're learning someone else's song, there's the way that that song is played. But again, for this exercise, we're focusing on alternate picking just the one string that sounds a bit cleaner and a little bit tighter as well. Now, I'm alternate picking. I don't want you to count here, but I'm alternate picking that note. After playing the power chord one time, I'm alternate, I'm alternate picking that one note 14 times. I counted it out on the tabs, which again, if you're my Patreon supporter, you have the tabs. Okay, so 14 times. Don't think about how many times. Don't sit there and like, okay, one, two, three, because you'll never get it. <laughs> just alternate pick, okay? Just alternate pick, and if you're new at alternate picking, just kind of keep practicing that until it feels right. Uh, in fact, if you're brand new at alternate picking, I have another video up here. I'll put it up here now. I would encourage you, after you watch this video, watch that one, or maybe you watch that one now, come back to this one. That will help you uh, build that skill. All right, so, after we play that E power chord, okay, we've got like two alternate picking sections here. We're kind of going back and forth. Uh, we're going to go into a primarily down picking uh, part of the riff here. Okay, all I'm doing here is we're kind of going from a B to a C. Now, the way I play that B power chord is kind of cool. So, we're again, we're on the A and D strings here. I'm playing frets 2 and 5 instead of 2 and 4. You'd play 2 and 4 for the B power chord. I'm playing 2 and 5 to get this cool sound. Then I go to the C. Okay. 
Okay, so BC, all right? Kind of like the ancient era, BC. <laughs> anyway, I, I say that to my wife sometimes because her name is Candy, so I'm like, well, in the BC days before Candy, Jason was kind of all over the place and uh, cleaned up my life quite a bit when I met my wife. Anyway, that's another story for another time. We're going from that really cool sound and power chord there, two and five to three and five. <laughs> And I'm just, again, we're playing downstrokes here. We're not doing any alternate picking with that little section there. And guys, if you don't play this exactly like I just played it, don't fret, bad pun. Don't worry about it. Just play something there. Play what you feel. I'd much rather you actually play what you feel. What's coming out of you right now uh, instead of exactly what I'm playing. I want it to be your style, your riff. But make sure it's downstrokes, okay? Because again, this, this exercise here is all about alternating, alternate picking with down picking. So now we're gonna go back to alternate picking and we're gonna do the same thing we started out with just on another power chord, okay? So let's go through the exercise. <laughs> So again, we do the same thing, but now we're doing that with the D power chord, B and D strings, frets five and seven. Okay, that's it. So after that, we go back to what we played before. I kind of made this easy, so we just play the same thing. So let's go through that one more time. Now let's move on to the second alternate picking with down picking riff. This riff is really fun to play and if you're at more of a beginner level you may find that last piece when we get to the alternate picking part a little difficult hang in here with me though okay I'm gonna go through this whole thing with you here we're starting out with a really classic down picking method on that heavy E power chord there just a really classic metal just like that's the, the culprit of heavy metal here right so we kind of switch things up remember the first riff we started out with alternate picking then switched over to the down uh, the down picking here we're starting out again with that classic just you know E power chord heavy E power chord downstrokes here then we move on to the alternate picking the alternate picking though again there's a little trick to that we'll get into that so first things first this heavy part here again real simple we're basically playing that e note eight times with downstrokes and palm muting okay now i do play the full chord or the full power chord i should say you know the e open e string with the second fret of the a string I start out with that full power chord, but then the rest of that little riff, that palm muting section there, I'm just palm muting that E note, that open E string. Okay, and I believe I'm doing that about eight times. Now, let's move on. That part's simple enough. Uh, let's move on to the next part here. And what makes this whole thing simple is I'm just, I'm just replicating uh, the same pattern each time. So there are only two parts of this. But here, listen to this. So we've got a few things going on here. Number one, we are alternate picking. Okay, we're going back and forth and we're palm muting some of those notes as well. You can kind of hear that palm mute thrown in there, but we're starting out with a hammer on, right? We're hammering on, we're on the A string here. And the cool way to break this down, number one, let's start with this. The cool way to break this part down is we're only playing three notes here. And I love to break things down this way because this simplifies something that, that may sound a little complex because there's a lot of movement. Well, three notes, that's it. We just made the riff pretty simple, okay? So 
we're starting on the second fret. The notes we'll be playing are frets two, three, and zero. Two, three, and open, right? That's it. And mostly the two and three here. So what I'm doing is I'm hammering on from the second fret to the third fret, okay? Just like that. You can see my fingers working just like that. And as I'm picking that first note, that second fret, as soon as I pick it, I'm hammering down on that third fret. <laughs> So you could just practice. That wasn't actually part of the song, but I just wanted to demonstrate the technique there. You could actually just kind of stop right now, pause the video, and just practice that little hammer on. Because as soon as we hammer on from two to three, we're gonna we're gonna come in with that alternate picking. So if you want to just stop the video and practice this. <laughs> Feel free to do that. Practice that technique. Now, what I'm doing here for this particular song is I think we are we're going with that alternate pick about five times on that third fret there. I could be off one or two that happens, but uh, I do that basically two times. Then at the end, I do another kind of little pull off thing where we're going we're going two three two zero. Okay, and we'll cover that. So here's here's the riff. Let me slow this down. Okay. Two, hammering down to three, okay? And then we're replicating that one more time. The very end, we're just doing this. Two, three, two, open. And what that kind of allows you to do, um, it kind of allows you like, uh, sort of like a, a landing pad going back into that that E power chord, if that makes sense, okay? So listen to, when I play this through, listen to how it creates just kind of the perfect storm going back into the riff here. Now before we end guys, I just want to stress the importance of practicing these two methods together, alternate picking and downstrokes. And I'll say a lot of times, more than often, when the riff has more alternate picking in it, if it's kind of alternate picking heavy, no pun intended, you're going to also hear some downstrokes in there. Whereas they may be some riffs that are played with downstrokes only, a lot of riffs are like that, but whenever you hear alternate picking, you can almost guarantee there's going to be some sort of down pick in there somewhere, even if it's just one time or twice or something like that. So I like you guys to practice these together, not necessarily say I'm going to do alternate picking only today and downstrokes only today. That's good, there's nothing wrong with that, but if you can bring them together like we did in these two exercises, I think that's going to be much more powerful and it's going to help you more in the long run. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, you know, a lot of times I do like you guys to micro focus on one thing at a time. I, I think that's important, but when I say micro focus on one thing, what I really mean is maybe micro focus on a combination of things. Like you may have some riffs that are just downstrokes and that's fine. You're practicing those. But again, when you get into the alternate picking, you're pretty much, I would say maybe not all the time, but most of the time you're going to find some sort of downstroke in there. So it's good to integrate both of these methods in the same riff and practice them that way. And this way you just get really good and really tight at both styles of picking. Now I wanna remind you real quick, if you're a Patreon supporter, you have the tabs for these two exercises and more importantly, the backing tracks. I know you guys love the backing tracks. Uh, if you're not on my Patreon, there's a link in the description. Also guys, check out my guitar courses. If you're not in one of my guitar courses, especially Metal Riff Master, that course goes through over 80 new metal riffs and it does focus on a combination of methods in each module of 10 exercises so go through that course I think you'll love it uh, if you're already in that course thank you so much for supporting that I really appreciate it that course metal riff master is a year old this month I'm filming this in April 2022 I released this in April 2021 and most of you guys know I actually made like four or five upgrades to the course after I released it based on your feedback 
Uh, so again, if you're not in that course, there's a link in the description uh, with the Patreon link and all that good stuff. And those are just ways you can support what I do, which I greatly appreciate that, guys. So if you have any questions whatsoever, uh, leave me a comment on this video here. If you have questions about alternate picking or, or down picking and if you're having trouble combining those together hey leave some comments leave some questions and guys thank you once again for supporting my channel i do appreciate it please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you smash that subscribe button and guys i will see you on the next video until then keep it metal